Shall we begin? Let's begin now. We're going to take a look at two moulds. The first mould is the one that you're looking at now. This is a frit pier. Now, it comes in stretcher bond, as you can see, and this will cast uh, three size piers. Now, the first size is a 13 inch pier, which is this one. The second one is a 18 inch, and the final one is a 27 inch. Now, it will cast six parts altogether, and that is two parts of each of the piers. So that means that you'll have to cast this twice to get a full pier. Now, this mould I've already used. I know what quality of this comes out like. But we, I will show you the castings. I will do a, a plain white casting so you can actually see what you actually get. Now that's the first mould we're looking at. Now the second mould is related to it. And I'll bring that one in. Now, this mould is related to it because it's pier cappings and pedestals and soldier courses and coping. So, this one will actually go with the piers as uh, this is a finished pier for a 27 inch. That's a finished brick pier for the 18 inch. And then we go down to here, finished capping for a 13 inch and vice versa they're just done in different patterns for finishing off now you also got a soldier course which will go on top of your walls which uh, when I do some castings I'll explain a little bit more about that uh, these are, are, are courses to go on top of brickwork as well and I'll, I'll try to I will try and explain what use they've got if you're doing dioramas. Uh, there's a lot of uses for these items. So, without no further ado, I shall go off. I'll do some casting, and we'll have a look at what sort of quality of the parts that come out of these molds. Well, there's nothing I can say about this, but they're absolutely bang on the money. They really are. There. They've come out of the mould absolutely fantastic. The first casting, uh, it was my fault. I never washed the mould properly. There was some powder left and I got a few air balls. Uh, but that issue was soon resolved just by me cleaning the mould properly. And as you can see, these are absolutely spot on. S spot on. There's going to be loads and loads of uses that uh, I can see coming for this. What I should do, I'll take you down a little bit closer. Want to focus in. The detail is absolutely brilliant. It really is. Soldier course, you can't bolt it. And the pier caps, pier bottoms, pedestals, they're all brilliant absolutely brilliant right there's nothing more i can say i really can't right i will put it put them together and we'll see what they look like with some other bits right i've actually led them out the way they have actually come out of the mold now i have a, i can't say much about these because the quality of them is absolutely 100 percent they're cast out beautiful. You can get them out of the mould easily. The detail on it is absolutely fantastic. And these will actually go together. They go together. I'll try and get that one in together. No, I won't. So I'll turn that one around. They actually slot in. Absolutely fantastic. They've got the spaces of uh, 0 0.5 between the joints. So, if you were to glue them two bits together on a flat surface, once you've created it, that would not show. 
these will make up a, a whole variant of different piers. They can be used as brickwork. They can be used anywhere if you double them up, i.e. stuck two together that way, like so. That would actually give you a nine inch wall. So you could build walls, you can build a house out of this. There's, there's nothing saying that you can't build a house out of this. This stuff, you know, is absolutely brilliant. The detailing, the quality, I can't fault it. If you uh, are going to do any uh, molding, grab yourself one of these molds because they're absolutely fantastic. Now I shall move on to. Uh, I shall try and put. I'll put some of these together. I've got some uh, ones already weathered and uh, painted up, so you can actually have a look at what sort of the way they turn out. And also, I'm going to introduce with them uh, the cappings and the pedestals and everything else, so you can see what you're actually getting uh, for your money. I've been sat here deciding on what to show you on how to use these how to put them. and there's so many different ways and different things that you can actually use these on I don't know I can't show you them all so I found down a bit of a challenge to myself and to prove a point I'm going to build a small diorama and I'm going to build a house on it a half destroyed house and I'm going to build the house totally out of these uh, it's going to include a fireplace uh, window openings uh, a chimney and walls I'm going to build all the walls of the house using this stuff and these bits and pieces here uh, for the simple reason is, I think these bits you can use to build a complete house with it, as small as what they are. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, the floors and the walls, no, I can't. Uh, the floors I can't build out of these, but uh, there will be some wood, uh, bolts of wood for the floors to go in. And also, I'm going to allow myself uh, some curb edgings and some blocks. So what started off as a, a review on these molds has ended up to be a little challenge now I will do the build on my other channel the other 135th scale uh, diorama builds I will do how I'm doing it and what I'm using on there but I will do a final reveal on on this channel on my channel so you'll, you don't have to go across there and watch everything, do you know what I mean? But I should just do uh, the reveal, final reveal, uh, so everyone, everyone can see the little challenge I set myself. So thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you on the challenge. Shall we begin? Let's begin. 